Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to enhance our Salesforce Developer Console. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel, turn on the bell icon for more updates and I hope you are good and doing well as well. Okay, so let's get started without any further delay and please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. So once you logged in into Salesforce or you can see this is the lightning view and uh, you can open the developer console there are so many ways i will show you one is you know this clear icon and click on this developer console and it's open me a new you know browser window here right so this is the first way to open the developer console second way once you click on this gear icon and click on this and right click and open a new tab so you will be see this developer console in a second tab here so just click on this open new tab now you can see developer console in a same tab right so this is the so trick to open developer console in a same tab of the browser so no, you can see here this kind of things here right so here just please observe we have lots of things here so you know like files adding debug everything but in the help section this is the very good you know like options now given by the sales for in developer console you can take some help from Salesforce sign like help docs. Once you open this help docs, it's open the help and training, you know, community from the Salesforce site. So this is the developer console functionality and it says some kind of article. You can read, learn something new here as well. Just close this and under the help, we have lots of options like shortcut key. So I will show you this shortcut key preferences and I will change this UI based on my requirement. So how to do that? Let me show you here. So just click on the shortcut key we have some shortcut key so no need worry about every time you have to open the file open on like new open open resource open lightning resource something like that you can just remember this shortcut key or just you can open a new tab like this and just uh, follow this shortcut on developer console and you can open your options so let's say i want to open my file so you can just open your file just Control o so you can open your file under this you know open we have triggers pages page component object static resource packages right so this is the first option here and second one you can open the lightning component if you have like any lightning component so you can press ctrl shift a based on the your operating system please note that right i'm using window that's why it's showing like ctrl shift a here maybe in mac we have like command shift a something like that right so just you have to press like control shift and a it's open me uh, lightning resources if you have like any lightning resources that uh, lightning resources will be available here in this format like a name and format and you can you know ascending and descending based on your requirement right and also we have lots of things but very useful things here like search so if you are wondering let's say any field or any class where where it will be referenced right so just you can uh, use these things and open the logs there are so many options but useful shortcut i will show you here right so let's say i want to search something so how to open the search so you can see like search in files so this is the option like control shift h so just control shift h you can see this uh, pop up here right once you open it let's say i want to search like demo demo related things and click on this search icon you can select demo so demo we have like uh, you know like apex class and public class name like constructor and you can see like print statement in line number five right everything you can easily understand about this keyword right so this is the shortcut also you can see like your log panel control p everything you can learn about from here this is the shortcut okay but my intention is how to rebuild or you know like how to design this uh, uh, you know developer console as user friendly so under the help we have preferences so once you click on this preferences by default the font size is 18 and editor team default enable apex auto complete and true and you have to follow this by default setting but i uh, will show you here uh, you have to change this setting if you want to enhance your developer console okay so let's say i want to change this theme so i want to take some theme let's say eclipse or something like that right so let me search here like midnight 
okay so once you select this midnight and click on the save and open any file let's say here uh, any demo class and click on this uh, like select it and click on this one now you can see the you know new look and feel of this you know developer console with better you know like colorizations like vs code okay we can do everything using vs code but uh, if you are using developer console so you can uh, follow my video about this developer console enhancement right for only for developer you know developer console not like vs code if you want to learn more about vs code you can watch my others video i already created lots of video regarding you know like editors so f for now you can see this new way here also here just click on this help and preferences i want to increase the size so let's say i want to increase the size like 40 so immediately you can see the 40 size increase let's say i want to make it like uh, um, 20 so no, you can see the 20 or 10 you can see the 10 size so based on your requirement you can do that like this no need worry about like every time you have to press control and mouse over or you can increase the size here as well like uh, plus something like that like this so no need this one because you know this is the browser setting right like uh, 90 or something like, like zoom in zoom out but for this editor how to make it as a default so you can make it just click on this help preferences right and change this for like size like 25 so now you can see once you save it and refresh again now you will be see this kind of you know like changes again here no need every time you have to configure you have to configure only one time and use anytime anywhere right open like classes demo class and now you can see the changes here right also i will show you here another things let's say in the preferences we have you know uh, this uh, you know themes so you can use any theme as you want let's say clips or you know like monokai like monokai this is the monokai you know uh, theme here right so this is the monokai you can use it like this right also let me change another theme here and let's say yeah there are so many themes based on your need or based on your interest you can choose any options from here in this drop down right so let's say i want to use the uh, x light or based on dark like base 16 dark or something like that right eclipse you can see the eclipse here right so it's much better clean here now you can see the eclipse here right you can increase the size decrease right also under the help we have like another option that is called lightning component library so you you can take some help from the salesforce side it's already created this website and based on your you know domain this is the my domain right and after that you have to write this docs and something like that and this is the component reference guide if you want to open any kind of you know like ui related things so you can open and you can use it let's say i want to use like alert so you can see the alert here small alerts right also like badges we have badges here okay and also buttons if you have like if you need some buttons so you can use it like this you can view as well any aura here you can see this is the aura if you need to change this view to you know like aura to nwc so just click on this view as lightning web component and you will be see the changes right so you can take some help from uh, this website because at the time of development you need this website so that's why right this is a very useful here also we have like preference we already discussed right also in uh, let me click in the help uh, in preferences we have like print with and prevent log on load false if you need like previous logs you want to store so you can make it this true here once you click and it's automatic true and also false like the by default is false but you can make it any you know like uh, logs on the lo loading side so just here you can see the query plan visual force state inspector in indentin with tabs so you say false you can make it as a true and click on the save and you will be seeing some indentation right so let's say i want to create another constructor with parameterized so let's say public here and demo 
and it's taking like a you know like a string and make it like as a small string let's say name right and here i want to print this name use system dot debug and you can print like my name is something like that here like name right you can see the indentation here if you uh, want to see that indentation just click on this preferences change this color to black or any dark color so that time like night lights or you can see this one okay also you can check any theme as you want based on your need like ambitious right like this one it's easy like uh, you want to highlight your you know curly braces from start to end so just click on this one you can see the immediately green here right this is the white once you click on this is the green you can see each and everything right and also like a black blackboard or something like that you can check like this base 16 or here we have like a cliff or vibrate link here you can see this one right so we have lots of you know options based on your requirement you can choose you can select and here I will show you here this night like this night at the time of night you can use this theme for your eyes it's very easy to you know work and easy to maintain these things right so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please subscribe the channel share like comments and please hit that bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys